doing a little rotor housing porting. Got my KMR porting template. First step, die cam. So we got our die cam down. We can lay our exhaust template over. Everybody always wants to know how do I position it. It's based on exhaust port timing. If you're moving it upward, you're adding more overlap. That's uh, going to be better for your naturally aspirated motors that don't have to pass smog. And if you're going down, that's going to be usually better for your turbocharged applica applications. You're going to get that volume out nice and early and not add too much overlap where turbocharged motors don't usually like that as much. But it really is situational dependent. Today we're going to be doing a turbo port, so we're bringing it a little bit down, about like that. All right, you can see I've got the uh, template now scribed onto the rotor housing. I've got a little wooden jig I like to use. Um, right now we're going to be using it for the rotor housings. And the, I'll actually be porting in through the back so you need a fairly long porting tool, nice carbide cutter, and there's a couple reasons. One is this allows you to get the right angle. Also, you don't want to port below or beyond your actual sleeve. The Inconel sleeve is important despite what people think. Definitely blocks heat. And uh, also by porting in through the back, I'm minimi minimizing the possibility of having the porting tool skip into the face of the rotor housing, which is really expensive. So just a couple tips, pour it in through the, uh, the back side. Get that nice flow, that nice shape, and reduce the possible damage. You can see we're getting closer to our marks. We're getting uh, out to the edges, but we still got a ways to go. More grinding. So, still getting closer, and uh, as I get closer to this bottom scribed line, Obviously, I'm going to take more and more time. I want to come right from this Inconel's edge down to this line or a slight radius, but I definitely don't want to pour it down below that Inconel sleeve because then you'd have your exhaust air going into and hitting abruptly that sleeve. So just a little bit of a tip there and uh, another reason that I like coming in through the, uh, the exit side of the exhaust port. You can see it's starting to shape up. We've got the bottom basically cut to our template line and a rough cut. So now we're going to flip the housing over so we can get to the other side. All right, so we're flipped over. And now we're going to port up to our upper line and uh, blend it to the sleeve as well. And you can see I'm actually porting in in this direction and bracing with my hand or in this direction. Uh, both 
making sure that speed supporting tool is secure so I don't accidentally skip out onto the rotor housing face, and always making sure that I'm considering my air flow. We want to make sure we don't have anything that's too sharp of an edge. We'll be radiusing those down before we're done. We've matched the edge of our port and now we're going to be coming back in and uh, flipping it one more time to match the inner ink and sleeve. Alright, so third direction. Uh, we're going to be porting in now through the exhaust port to blend in this lower edge with the ink and sleeve completing our radius of where our exhaust air is going to flow. So not only are we trying to provide the air a good path, but this ink and sleeve, like I said, is providing a heat barrier block for your water cooling passages. So it's important. Alright, we've got that Inconel edge blended to the aluminum now. Nice, beautiful port shape. Port taking shape. You can see we've matched it up to that KMR template. Nice rough cut. We're going to now move into some polishing. Starting off with a coarse sandpaper roll, getting into finer, using the uh, stone for our edges, removing any burrs on the radius, and then some flapping for a polish at the end. Went through the different sandpaper rolls and got the uh, shape finished up and a little bit of polish. One of our remaining steps, we're going to come in with the stone and chamfer the edges. That way we're not leaving a sharp edge. We don't want a sharp edge. Alright, so I cut my nice little uh, chamfer or bevel on that edge. Now we can do some final polishing. A sandpaper roll, starting off with some 220. You can go as fine as you like. I usually go down to about a eh, 450, somewhere in there. Get a nice polish. exhaust porting template and uh, there's some pro tips and advice on how to do your rotary exhaust porting boom more flow more horsepower I had to do this uh, a few more times I'm building three rotor <laughs>